Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing I'm doing. Back with another unboxing uh, sort of thing. Have a lot of these Kickstarter pledges from a year or two, uh, in some cases more, uh, coming in. So uh, I'm going to open them up, because that's what you do with these things. Uh, this particular uh, pair of boxes is uh, for a game uh, called Mercs. It's a, uh, originally a uh, tabletop uh, combat, strategic combat game like Warhammer, uh, from what I've gathered. I had never heard of it before I saw this Kickstarter come through. This particular version uh, is pretty much a uh, board game version that uses the same uh, mini pieces. Uh, and it's all about going into buildings, uh, getting objectives, and uh, getting out without all of your guys getting killed. So it's small tactical teams uh, going in against a uh, bunch of security uh, forces within the building. Uh, the story behind the Mercs world is a lot like a lot of different cyberpunk worlds. There's a bunch of big multinational corporations that have at least as much, if not more, power than the government. Uh, so they operate basically as the law or outside of the law. They do what they want. Uh, and that's the uh, sort of setup that goes on here. So this is corporate espionage with guns. Uh, the, uh, each of these boxes has two different corporations in it and a ton of different scenarios. Uh, I've got a whole lot of boxes like this coming my way since I kind of went all in on this particular Kickstarter. Um, so, without any further ado, uh, this is Merck's Recon. And this particular one uh, has the CCC and the uh, EU Inc. Uh, Megacorps in them. Uh, so we've got a nice solid box. I love the art. Uh, it, it's uh, a style that I really appreciate. Uh, we've got the info on the back of the box there, so you can kind of see how the setup goes. It's a single floor of a building, lots of offices. Uh, it's made up out of tiles, so every time uh, you do it, it can be different. Uh, each scenario has a certain setup that goes on. You can make your own scenarios. Um, and you can use these pieces in the uh, regular combat tabletop game. I'll be getting the book uh, for that also, since that was part of the Kickstarter. Opening up the box uh, right away. Now uh, we have the two info sheets on the uh, two corporations in here, uh, EU and CCC. Um, has the information about their leaders, their special abilities, um, how their breach and clear stuff works, the different, uh, pretty much everything you need to know uh, on quick info sheets. We have the instruction booklet, which is really important. Um, lets you know about all the uh, different symbols and markings on, on the board. Uh, gives you a rundown of the different action points and the different phases of the game. I've watched a couple of playthroughs uh, online, and uh, for the first few times uh, we do this, it's going to be kind of important uh, to have this around, because it's not a uh, pattern that I'm particularly familiar with. It's not a system that I'm particularly familiar with, but I really like the way stuff looked. So I threw a lot of money at them. Uh, we have all of the uh, little cardboard bits uh, of room damage and uh, different counters, different uh, objects that you will come across in the, uh, in the different things. Uh, a lot of these I have uh, fully molded versions, plastic versions coming my way. Uh, again, because I went all in with the Kickstarter. And uh, we have a whole bunch of the different floor tiles. Um, so these will get broken out and uh, set up. Uh, there's different sizes of tiles. There's some that are uh, three, uh, two by two, three by three, three by two, one by ones. 
Uh, so you can get a lot of different um, setups going on there. Bases for figures, kind of important. We have the uh, special dice for the, uh, the game. Different, uh, each corporation has their own color scheme. Each color has its own special meaning. And then we have the minis, which are, yes, in pieces, um, but minimal pieces compared to the Robotech uh, tactics game that I backed, uh, which were turned out to be pretty much full on uh, models, which were uh, was a little unexpected. Uh, at least with this, uh, again, I've seen a couple of the uh, videos with how they uh, get put together. You'll see they don't particularly uh, have arms on them, so they don't break in transit. Uh, but the detail on these guys is, is pretty nice from everything I can see uh, and everything I've seen. I've seen some great paint jobs on them already. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be... Uh, really going all in with the painting. Uh, it's not something I've ever been particularly good at, but I do have friends who are. So uh, we'll see. Got a couple of headless guys because uh, they have fancy helmets and everything. Um, so that's uh, pretty much this box. We've got the uh, action cards, which are uh, important to the playing of the game. And we've got the uh, individual uh, character boards, the player boards, so you can uh, keep track of everything you need to keep track of uh, when it comes to these guys. Um, I'll put that back there. So that's uh, two of the corporations. Everything fits nicely uh, in the box. We'll see how nicely everything fits uh, once I've put the, uh, the figures together. That's always the uh, tricky uh, part with these mini based games is that once you put the figures together uh, they tend to take up a little bit more space uh, and and fill in the box a little differently so uh, we'll see the second uh, Merck's Recon uh, box here has the uh, Keizai Waza and the uh, Kemvar corporations so again, both of these have about 20 miniatures in them, uh, 10 player boards, 40 some odd cards, 15 custom dice, 29 building tiles, uh, 12 puzzle frames, that's uh, the pieces that go around the board, uh, search and clear tile, collateral damage discs, uh, agent discs, and a whole lot of uh, other stuff. This is uh, also another one of those uh, single player games because you're playing against the game uh, even when you have multiple people uh, you're all playing against the game you can have up to uh, five people playing and uh, that allows each person to play one of the members of the squad now if you're playing uh, on your own which is again one of the other reasons I got this game just like the Ghostbusters game I have because it does have a single player version which means I don't have to worry about anyone uh, being able to make it or me being able to drag these games anywhere I can sit down and it's uh, playing against the game uh, there are random random roles involved that determine how some of the uh, game pieces move uh, the placement of stuff uh, is randomized. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of variability that comes into play. Uh, so even if you do play the same mission multiple times, it's going to be at least a little bit different every time. Uh, and I like that. Uh, Playtime is about 90 minutes or so uh, longer the first couple of times when you don't know what you're doing. Um, and again, this is from uh, Megacon Games. Uh, these are the same guys that did Fate. Uh, which I also backed their Kickstarter uh, for that one. So I've got more Fate stuff coming my way, more Recon stuff coming my way. Uh, some of the parts are interchangeable, which is kind of neat. Uh, we've got, again, in this box, the same deal as the other one. We've got the uh, info sheets on the, uh, on the corporations. Another set of rules whole lot of tokens you're not going to see a whole lot different um, unless we go deep into the design 
of the uh, the building pieces because that's the major place where we've got differences with the uh, different building uh, setups, the different uh, special rooms uh, in the buildings are tailored to the different corporations. Uh, and of course, the, uh, the minis are different for uh, each corporation. Uh, so you're, you're going to get that sort of variety. And when you paint them up, you give your, your uh, color schemes and everything like that. This guy, uh, he's not missing a whole lot of parts. So you can see that uh, they, they've done a really good job of keeping the parts down to a minimum. Uh, that you have to glue into these uh, into these things, which uh, for people like me who aren't exceptionally keen on uh, building minis uh, or putting models together, which is again what the uh, Robotech Tactics turned out to be was full on models. They had so many pieces. Um, that's good. That means these will actually get put together. Uh, and again, I can't guarantee they'll be painted, uh, but they will get put together. Uh, all the little arms, uh, another deck of cards there, the uh, ever-important uh, player cards so you can tell what's going on uh, as you play, same sort of dice, um, and, you know, three bags of minis. So we've got pretty much the same setup in all of these. Uh, going on, which is uh, good. It makes it easy to uh, <laughs> plan. And uh, from what I've seen, it's a fun uh, little game to play. There's a lot of, like I said, variability that comes up. Uh, I've never played the uh, full-on tabletop version. Uh, this is going to be the first time I'm getting involved in the Mercs world in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so, if you've played any of the Merc stuff before, uh, or have backed this particular Kickstarter and just had your uh, recon boxes show up, uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, we can talk about stuff. Maybe uh, get together and play a game if you're anywhere near me, because uh, there's nothing better than having people to play with when it comes to this stuff, even though these games uh, can be run solo, which again was one of the major uh, purchasing points for me was that uh, I can get these, I can enjoy them myself, and then if I can get other people together, we can all enjoy them. Uh, so let me know down in the comments if you're familiar with the Merc stuff and what you think of it. And if you've gotten your boxes already, uh, what you think of what you found inside. I'm going to bust out the tiles, take a closer look at them. Uh, I, like I said, I love the artwork. I think the artwork is great. And the work that the guys at Megacon Games put into this uh, has been pretty solid. They ran into some production problems. Uh, they've worked through all of them. Anything else that's lingering, uh, they're still working to make sure those problems don't occur in future productions uh, of stuff from this Kickstarter. And they're on top of getting any replacement parts out to their backers who've gotten stuff that was incorrectly printed or damaged in transit or anything like that. So again, uh, another company that's doing it right when there are problems. Uh, it's tough running these Kickstarters. I understand that. Mm, tons of respect for uh, companies that step up and uh, at their own expense take care of stuff that comes up. Uh, so uh, that's it for, for today. If you like the stuff uh, I've said, give me a thumbs up right down there. If uh, you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. Uh, these are coming out kind of randomly, uh, kind of going for a once a week thing, uh, but we'll see uh, how, that, how that plays. It's not daily like it was uh, last year. So we're doing once a week-ish. Best way to know is uh, to subscribe so you get notified when they go up. And uh, if you know anyone else who's interested in stuff like this, there's going to be more unboxings. There's going to be some movie reviews, television show reviews. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we did uh, with the first hundred of these uh, just spaced out a little more and eventually uh, expanded a little bit. Still working on that plan. There'll be uh, something special about that. And uh, I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you some other time.